What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually going to be trimming out some newel posts. These newel posts are kind of boring, just really modern, don't have a lot of character to them. They're like a four by four post. So we're going to be trimming them out, dressing them up. And we're going to be using a special adhesive that I've used on the channel before, but I actually like to call it mortise and tenon in a bottle. And you're going to see why, but here it is. It's actually, I guess it'd be mortise and tenon in a cartridge because these are the pure cartridges. So let's check them out. Put a little tiny bead on here. So the open time is 30 seconds. It's not going to break. Ow, that freaking hurts. It's just hurting my foot. Whoa, that is insane guys. It pulled the grain. So we've got our saw set up right here on 45 and we're cutting our base blocks of these one by 12s. And you can see these are gonna come together nicely. And we're gonna glue these with something a little bit different. We're gonna use pure adhesive. Now this pure is P-U-R and it stands for polyurethane reactive. We've been using this stuff for about a year and a half. And the first time I used it, I was actually very, very impressed by it. We did an accent wall and it was like a grid accent wall. So we had styles and rails going in all directions. And we used this glue on those joints where those styles and rails met up. And you can see right here from this video that I'm pulling on it and it's almost like it's pocket screwed together. About a minute or two. And that's pretty crazy guys. So I was very impressed by this stuff and we've been experimenting with it for ever since then. And I actually like it so much that we started selling it. So you guys know we already sell our CA glues right here. And these things are really good, especially for like small little returns, like these cove moldings and these little edge moldings. Gluing that stuff together, that stuff is great. Or even just anything that has to do with MDF, that stuff has got you covered. But when you have such a long joint that's actual wood like this, you know, I don't, I'm not going to use CA glue. You can get away with it, but it's just not as strong as a bond and CA glue, especially with pine, it just doesn't seem to take very well uh, over such a long joint. Returns, little pieces, totally fine. But for something like this, that we're going to have to kind of, you know, rough it up a little bit when we install it, we're going to slide it onto that post and clamp it and nail it. You know, there's a chance it could crack that bond if we were using CA glue. So we're going to use this and you know, this isn't going to replace CA glue, obviously, because everything I just said, but this does have it placed now in our toolbox. And this right here is a hot melt gun. So this has two settings on it. You can either do 248 or 356. And the, basically the difference there is obviously several degrees, but uh, the viscosity changes as you go up in temperature and the open time of the glue goes up. So if you're on 248, you know, it's going to be a little bit thicker of a glue and it's going to cure faster. 356, it's going to be a thinner glue and it's going to cure a little bit slower. Now this has a cartridge in it that is at this present moment, 356 degrees. So I'm not going to take it out and show it to you because I don't want to burn my hand, but I do have one down here, I think, yeah, right here. This is the cartridge that they take. So this is a pure WW30 and it's WW30 means wood to wood 30. So you can join wood to wood and the open time is 30 seconds. And we also sell these also on our store. I'll put a link in the description. If you ever bought CA glue from us, I mean, I really appreciate that. It definitely helps make these videos possible. It just supports the channel, so I really appreciate it. So we actually sell these and we actually sell the guns. And check this out. I have the cheapest prices on these guns and glue than eBay or Amazon. So it's, it's pretty crazy. I mean, you could check. I'll put a link in the description for this and it's, it's a lot cheaper. So the way this works is you see this nail right here? That doesn't come in the cartridge. That's actually a nail that I put in there because this stuff's a little tricky. If you leave it open to the moisture, like the humidity, it's real humid down here, it wants to cure, which is good because there's a little bit of moisture in all wood and it really bonds the wood. But it's not good for the glue that's left over inside your cartridge that you don't want to use yet. So I found that these little nails right here, I don't know what size they are, I'll put it in the description. These hold perfectly 
inside that little tube. And as we all know, as metal heats up, it expands. So whenever this thing is on 356 degrees, it opens up that cartridge and I'm allowed to pull that nail out. The reason I have that nail in there is to block off all oxygen and moisture when I'm done using this. So these cartridges do come with their own lids. You can see this green lid right here. It's just a twist on, twist off lid. But I never use these because what happens is you'll always have adhesive leak out of the nozzle and you'll end up gluing this lid to the nozzle and it's really frustrating to get it out of there. And in my opinion, it doesn't really block off moisture from getting into the glue cartridge. Now, the polyurethane reactive means that it reacts to moisture. So you gotta keep moisture out of this cartridge. That's where the nail comes in. And the nail, you can see right here, this is a cold tube. It is not gonna go in there. You have to heat it up to get it to go in there. So that's the little trick right there and that's saved me a ton of these cartridges. So I'll pull this out. And this right here is extremely hot too. So I actually just use my shirt and I pull it out. So you can see that glue, it already wants to come out and it has this little stand where it can just leak in there. So if you start pulling on this trigger, obviously it's gonna squeeze out, but it's just so hot right now at that 356 that it's actually just dripping out. If, if you wanted it not to drip out, you could do 248. We're gonna glue this up and show you how this works. But we're gonna use our miter spring clamps and just a bead of this glue. Now it doesn't take a whole lot of this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bead on here and that's all it's gonna take. Now with this stuff, you gotta work pretty quick. So I'm gonna line these up. And it's a little more forgiving than the CA glue. So I, I like that joint right there. I mean, the CA glue, once you touch them together, you're done. So that's another advantage over this stuff on such a long joint, you have time to kind of get it in place. With CA glue, you gotta be perfect every time. So it's not ideal for such big pieces. So the open time is 30 seconds, but it does take longer than that to fully cure. So we're gonna let that one cure and we're just gonna keep going with our process here. But I thought that was interesting and that some of you guys would wanna check that out because that stuff right there is a game changer. And then when you're done with it, I'm not done with it obviously, and this nail is still extremely hot. <laughs> I'll just grab my nail and then I can jam it back in there like that. Jam it back in there. Then when I turn this off, there's a power button right there. I'll turn it off. When the metal cools down, it contracts. So it'll actually squeeze that nail. I've tried to pull that nail out when this tool was just totally cold, straight from the toolbox here. Not gonna happen. I mean, it is hugging that nail tight. So before that nail, that little nail trick, I was wasting these cartridges and you don't wanna waste these cartridges because one of these cartridges on Amazon is like $16. But like I said, don't get it from Amazon. I got them a lot cheaper. And I glued this up using that pure adhesive three days ago. It is not, it's not gonna break. And this is like, I mean, I work out. I'm not a weak guy. I'm freaking buff and I can't do it. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna cut it in half. That'll make the bond half as strong. And then I'll see if I can get it. All right. Ow, that's freaking hurts. <laughs> it's not gonna break. All right, let me get the, it's just hurting my foot. It's, let me get my hammer. Everything can be solved with a hammer. Let's see how long this takes to break. That is insane, guys. It pulled the grain out of the opposite piece and became a part of this piece. It's like a, looks like a broken mortise and tenon joint. That is just crazy. 
That is insane. I've never, that's pretty crazy right there. Does this replace fasteners? I would say they're accurately right when they claim that with this pure adhesive, that is freaking strong. So this stuff, we get this all glued up. It's not gonna go anywhere. And as far as like working with it now, it's not fully cured, but it has that open time of 30 seconds. So what I can do is I can keep working with it in 30 seconds of getting it clamped up in place. So it's not gonna go anywhere. It's clamped or it's glued up and I can move on to the next side. So pretty cool. We're gonna keep moving on with this install.